Richard, this is Brian Chris. Thanks for joining me again. Um, this is my new project. I think I've designed in my video last night on using paint. This is a simple diagram of my new bubble I'm going to do. Um, I bought some supplies as well. A nice piece of acrylic tubing, which is about 4mm thick. And this piece of length is um, is 9, well it's 9 cent 900 centimetres, 900 millimetres across this way. And it's plenty for what I want to do for this project. And I've got a small pepsi glass here which is not blue, it's actually clear see-through. But the idea is to use these tube, this tube and cut it down. And it's going to be about, well, 20 centimetres high overall, but these pieces are going to be 12 centimetres high. So I'll be cutting 12 centimetres high and the one next to it. This will be a dual bubbler. Okay, so therefore this is what it comes in the inlet from the um, f first bubbler from the hydrogen generator. I'm going to change this. I'm actually going to feed it to the bottom, actually, so it comes up through the through the water, and then back down into the secondary bubbler, where it's going to get cleaned again, and back out to the air intake. I'm going to put a series of valves in here as well. Now, this what I'm building this for is this here is the interesting bit. This is going to be a pop-off valve, spring-loaded, so it be springs four corners. Let's just look at a one a one D picture that we get. Um, four corners with springs, so if there's a, if there's an addition inside the, the first one, the top will just pop open and release the, the the energy, and then spring back down again and reset itself. That's the idea at the moment. We've got some bolts, uh, which I'm going to use for it. Four long ones for one, two, the one, two ones behind it, and two short ones. Uh, which is going to be for the other end. So I'll do some more filming. I'm going to do some more of this project and let you know how to get on. Got some glass on, in place in my saw here. Just using a mitre saw. That's where my two pipes or tubes going to go. So it's edge to edge. That's where I want it to be. Uh, get us a good cut in half now. Okay, I've just uh, sawn through it. Check the saw off our place. Clamp it and there you go. A nice clean cut of the mite saw. I wasn't sure it would work very well because there's quite big teeth on that, but it's done a good job of it. So that's one the base part or the top part of the new bubbler. Now to cut piece number two. Okay, I've cut my two pieces of uh, plexiglass and now gonna and I've now marked the holes where my bolts will go through. They're going to be six all together, one at each corner, and one in each the middle, there and there. So I'm going to drill those holes out now, and do the top one, and to the next stage. Okay, I've taken my um, blue protective layer stuff off, then my holes. If you can see that, one, two, three, four holes in my plexiglass. Uh, I made a mark there, two arrows, that's the where they got to match up, because obviously... Doing homemade stuff, you never get holes exactly the same place in two pieces. So um, that just denotes what way round I've got to have the pieces when they're put together. Otherwise, you end up having um, a wonky-looking uh, contraption when it's finished. So that's the holes drilled. Now to look at the tubes. Okay, I've um, cut my two water containers off from the longer tube. These are 10 centimetres each in height, and they're nine centimetres across. And they will slot just in there with the rubber gasket I've made and cut out with some rubber either side of it and that will be clamped down together. Okay, I've um, put my two tubes between the two pits of plexiglass, put the bolts on and the seals. So that's now just two concealed, sealed containers at the moment. Obviously they're going to have so you see the plan here, holes in the tops, and they're going to be bottomed in the bottom as well. So uh, they're watertight now, they should be. Um, and that's how it's going to be with the springs that go, go on this, these tall, these four long ones. That's why these are short, they're not needed to be long, as in the picture. Uh, the springs sit on there, there's a hole, big hole in there, and the other piece of plexiglass I've got to spare, which will be cut yet, will sit on top of that and will pop up, let's say, as in the plan. So that'll do for tonight, I think, for my um, second bubbler, or well, third bubbler now this is, I think. That'll do for now. Take care.